Hey everybody, hope you all are doing well today. Welcome to our next gym battle, this time against Tate and Lisa, the gym leaders of the Moss Deep City Gym. And that's right, you heard me. Gym leaders, not gym leader. They are twins, psychic using twins, who face you in a double battle. Now, their Pokemon are at least level 43, because I face trainers in the gym with level 42 Pokemon. And as you can see, we are only level 38. But, because they only have two Pokemon, and because theirs have a lot of weaknesses, uh, I feel like this actually might be a pretty close, pretty interesting battle, so I didn't want to level up too much. And I also have an uh, interesting strategy that I really want to see how it works. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Pretty cool looking gym here. Hey, 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 were you surprised? Tee hee hee, were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? Oh, I guess they say the same thing, okay. We're twins. We don't need to talk because we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? That's the question of the day. Let's find out. Ooh, cool little psychic spins there. All right, here we go versus Tate and Lisa. I wish I put like your trainer up there with like your name. That'd be cool. Lunatone and Soul Rock. Rock and Psychic types. They're pretty cool Pokemon. I really like the design of them, but I wish they had like better stats or at least like differently allocated stats. Cause uh, at least in the older games, I remember that Tate and Lisa's Pokemon tried to use moves that like they didn't really have the right stats for, like special versus um, physical moves. All right, so in double battles, Surf affects all Pokemon on the field, um, besides the one using it, obviously. So uh, it's super effective against Solrock and Lunatone, but resisted by Finnick, which is why I have Finnick out. So hopefully this should do a lot of damage. And then uh, even though Jest is weak to Rock type and Finnick is weak to Fighting type, we're also super effective against them. So let's gang up on Lunatone, because I think I remember Lunatone having, um, oh, that's not good. Lunatone having uh, Hypnosis. They might both have Hypnosis, which could be really annoying. Um, so Sunny Day means our Surf is now going to do half damage, so I was a little bit afraid of that. I guess it'll do half damage to Finnick as well. Well, that did like almost nothing. It is super effective, but the damage is 75% uh, of what it would normally do. And ooh, yeah, there's a Psychic Attack against uh, a Fighting type. That's a lot of damage. All right. Um, so that strategy didn't work too well. So even though Psychic and Rock are not great types defensively, they are pretty good types offensively. Um, looks like four of our six Pokemon are weak to either Rock or Psychic. Thrasher and Simon are not. Let's bring in Simon next. To see if maybe we could put... Um, I think I'm going to put Soul Rock to sleep. Oh, it does have Solar Beam. It's probably going to use Solar Beam next against Jest. Now, could I use that to my advantage and do a switch? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll save Jest for later. All right, um, because I'm pretty sure Solark is going to use Solar Beam. Why, why wouldn't you use Solar Beam? Um, let's go ahead and switch Jest out into Tempo to take a Solar Beam or a Rock Slide. It can't take a Psychic, but that can at least keep, it can waste turns of Sunny Day and keep Jest alive. And I'm going to also yawn on, um, let's yawn on Lunatone. It's a moon, right? It makes sense for it to be asleep. Going with that nighttime theme. Yes, okay. Good prediction. Oh, actually, you know what? It's neutral against Tempo. I just realized that. Because uh, uh, Night King is part ground type. So maybe not the best switch, actually. But, all right. Yeah, like I said, um, I don't think Sorok has a really good special attack stat. So it's kind of funny that it was like Solar Beam and probably Psychic. Okay, so Light Screen, that could be an issue. Because that means that's really smart in double battles. It means all the special attacks will do half damage to them for five turns. Um, and we do know Shadow Ball. This is actually a really good move set in terms of type coverage. And I think we're holding the Expert Belt. So let's try to gang up on Soul Rock, although unfortunately, um, it will deal half damage due to the light screen. Also, uh, Simon learned Moonblast, which is uh, a really good fairy type attack. Base power 95. Arguably the best fairy type attack. Although we will get better ones due to our ability later on. Alright, that's pretty good damage even against, uh, even through the light screen. All right, Tempo has fainted, unfortunately. 
And we should be able to survive a Psychic no problem, I would think. Alright, will the Shadow Ball be enough to, f to finish off Soul Rock? Oh, not quite. Oh, and the downside is probably going to have like a uh, Hyper Potion or something, too. Alright, well, let's bring out our other Pokemon that is not weak to them. And we do have Crunch, which should do some serious damage, because Crunch is physical, and even though we don't get stabbed from it, um, we do get the bonus from our ability, which is basically the same thing as Stab. So I'm going to keep trying to gang up on Soul Rock here and take it out before Lunatone wakes up. Um, the nice thing is, even if we don't knock it out this turn, or if we do knock it out this turn, which we probably won't because of the Hyper Potion, um, our moves will be automatically redirected to the other Pokemon. All right, so Lunatone will probably wake up soon. Let's see if we can at least take out its partner while it's sleeping. Special defense drop. Okay, if we don't, that could be useful. And Crunch, come on, Thrasher. I don't know what Sorok's defense is. Apparently not that great. All right. Great job, Thrasher. Down goes Solrock. And level 39. Awesome. All right. So now that we got one of them down, this should be a little bit easier since it's 2v1. Um, we're going to go for Crunch again. So I don't think Luna can, can take out, honestly, either one of us, probably. Maybe I should use Yawn in case it wakes up again. But I think with uh, a Shadow Ball plus a Crunch, and it's already taken some damage, this should be enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, Critical Hit. I was about to say, did the light screen wear off? I didn't notice, but that's why Critical Hits go through screens, I'm pretty sure. And a Crunch takes down Lunatoad. So that was a good battle. That was what I was hoping for. Yeah, even though they were seven levels higher, we just have such an awesome team that they were able to take care of it. And Simon's level 39 as well. Good job, guys. Lisa and Tate are defeated. Our, our teamwork. Ooh, lots of money. And that goes to show, too, why it's good to have a, a diverse team of many different types. Oh, and even better, Thrasher is evolving. Our uh, last evolution. The last fully evolved member of our team. Oh, this is cool. I've had so much fun training Thrasher. He's such a cute little dinosaur guy, but also, like, super strong attack stat. And now he evolves into the even more powerful Tyrantrum. Yeah, this is fun. I, I like this, because... It's not like one of the most powerful dragon types, but it has uh, pretty good stats, and it's just a cool Pokemon. Really good move pool. I'm really excited to train Tyrantrum. It can't be helped. You've won. So take this in recognition. The... I don't know. Dual badge. I'm always bad guessing these. The mind badge. That makes sense. Okay. All right. It also enables Pokemon to use the HM move called Dive. I don't think I have Dive yet. I'll have to look for that. And we get TMO4 Calm Mind, which I probably won't use. It's a stat boosting move. It boosts your attack and special defense. Uh, it comes from relaxating your mind and concentrating. Pokemon's special attack and special defense will be heightened by this move. You're kind of surprising they didn't actually use it in that battle. I assume they knew it. But I think they're actually probably smart going right for those attacking moves. It's a perfect move for a psychic type Pokemon. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond we share as twins. But you'll go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see for you. There may be a harsh ordeal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's all right. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why we want you to come whatever troubles may come your way head on and full of courage. Take on whatever troubles. I think I missed a word there. But all right, I am going to go heal up because our team, I think, is uh, a little bit hurt from that battle. Got some faints there, although I guess not too bad, honestly. Um, and then I think next we have a... Uh, a big part of the storyline. So the next battle will actually be against Maxi for the final time, the leader of Team Magma. That should be another really fun one. His team is much better this time, if I remember correctly. So hope you guys definitely stick around for that. As always, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.